Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this one we're just going to be doing a quick makeover and some adjustments to this picture we've got here. Uh, it's a more mature model that we had in the studio and I've had a few questions over the last few months about using this software on an older model. So I will show you how I would use it in this video and uh, I might go over some of the, or I might use some of the new features that are available in Portrait Pro 2022. Um, don't forget, there's a link in the description if you want to purchase this software um, using the discount code that I've provided as well. It gives you 15% off and that's valid up until the 9th of November, I think, this time round. If you're watching this video after the 9th, the discount code will be updated anyway, so you can still use it whenever you want. Okay, so if there's a new discount code there after the 9th, it will be valid and you will still be able to use it to get yourself some discount on this software. You can also download a trial as well if you want to have a play around with it before you commit to buying it. But um, yeah, I mean, it does save me a lot of time. I'm more than happy with it. So um, yeah, anyway, we're going to crack straight on. And um, first thing first, we will just check that the automatic face recognition features has caught the face perfectly which in this case it's just missed a little bit here now you know you get people saying oh is it any better than last time blah 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 well look listen doesn't matter what software you use nothing is a hundred percent perfect so you might have to do a couple of adjustments yourself but I think it always does a pretty good job anyway so okay I'm happy with how it's done that and we're gonna go straight into the shaping tool and one of the features I'm going to use on this occasion is the expression. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to adjust the hair volume just a little bit. And we're just going to boost the eyes up just a little bit as well. So we just want them a little bit wider. Now, if you look on here, this eye is a little bit more closed than the other one. So we will adjust them individually as well okay I'm happy there Um, we don't have to do anything with the lips etc because she's got nice plump lips anyway okay so the expressions let me just see where they are they're in here as well oh no there is a oh there we go expressions I do apologize now yeah this is one of the new features you've included um, so you can change the expression now this adjusts all the face to that sort of expression So if you wanted a looking thoughtful if you wanted someone with a bit of interest Which is the one I'm going to be using if they were surprised if you go too far. They're gonna look ridiculous and um, so You just use everything in moderation if you want a frowning Oh, she's looking really angry there. Oh, if you want a nice smile as well, so I'm gonna use a smile one and then I'm going to use the interested look as well. If you look at the eyebrow area, it does adjust them as well to give that little bit of an interested look. So we're just going to bring that up to around about halfway and I'm done in there. Now again, um, when I'm using this software, I don't go crazy over the top with the smoothing out the skin because it just looks silly doesn't matter what software you use Photoshop or any of the other ones on the market if you go too far it does look stupid so in this case we're just gonna give it some slight adjustments we're gonna smooth the eye area just a tad and you can see we're just doing it lightly just bring it up to around about the 30 40 mark and No, we'll leave it around, around halfway, I think, on that one. Imperfections, again, if you go too far, it's going to look stupid. So we're just going to bring that up to around about the 30 mark. Same with the wrinkles. Around the 30. Fine shadows. We'll bring that up to 30. Remove the pause. I'm going to bring that up to around about 30 as well. Um, and then we'll add a little bit of sharpening back in around about 10. Don't need to trim the eyebrows, anything like that. So we're gonna leave the rest of them in there. I'm gonna head into the, again, this is my workflow. These are the things I always use. 
you might do your editing differently. I'm just showing you the way I do things. And um, yeah, basically, <laughs> that's all I can say. So we're just going to add a little bit of mascara, get them. And we want a large, thicker application on the eyelashes, just a tad. And the lower eyeshadow, I'm going to use some of that as well, just to highlight them eyes a little bit more. So that's going to be near enough maximum level on this occasion. So we're going to leave it around about the 80 mark. Okay. Now, if you look at here on this left hand side, just around here, there was a little bit of a dark shadow. Cat shouting me again. Uh, so we're going to bring that up or make that disappear by using this highlighter and you can see the difference there so I'll bring that around the 60 mark and we'll close that one I'm just gonna head into the eyes and we're just gonna give a little bit of shout into the eyebrows definitely not 100% and the 23 mark will do me we're gonna brighten the iris up just a little bit again you go too far on things and it's just silly okay so we're just gonna just we're just we're just boosting what we've got to start with okay we're just boosting that's what how i would suggest you use this software or any software you use okay now um i'm gonna close that one down again again this is just a quick edit just a quick fix you can see the results yourself now I, I've done other videos I'll leave a link to one of them um, where I pit this software against one of the other market leaders um, and this, in my opinion this is only my opinion there's no comparison there's nobody can do this software as well as this company they've been at it for over 10 years I think now maybe 10 years or yeah 10 years or more um, and I tried it back in the day 10 years ago and it's come a long way since then a lot more features but anyway all that aside I'll carry on with what I'm doing I try and keep these videos to under 10 minutes or around the 10 minute mark um, right so we're going to go into the skin lighting and we're going to give a little bit of left shadow a little bit more on the right side we don't need to darken them eyes up in a little uh, anymore a little bit of a pout it just gives a little bit more of a shadow under here and scoop the nose and we're just going to darken that skin area up and I'm done I think I'm done again like I've said it's not about going over the top just quick adjustments that help lift your picture and in this occasion or on this I should say yeah on this occasion I'm quite happy with what I've done there so again quick results check the link in the description if you want to try it yourself or if you want to purchase it yourself and save yourself 15% off the price use the discount code provided and we'll see you in the next one bye